All right, I'm back, or something like this. How long has it been? Two weeks, three weeks? I have no idea how this game works. So, what's new? First of all, new operating system. I finally updated my operating system to, uh, <laughs> you will probably not believe me, Windows 10. So I needed to redo all of uh, OBS. In case you're wondering, uh, some of the labels are missing, some of the features of OBS might not be available just yet. So, looks might be a bit different, uh, hopefully I replicated it just fine. Um, chat should be there, let me just test this. Yeah, that'll do. So, that should be okay. Also, um, pop-ups for followers and stuff should be available, but um, I'm not sure if they are displayed correctly. Um, I probably need to resize those. So, yeah, if that turns up. On um, other news, uh, well, I can't do much about the, the new job. Um, I can tell the, the, some rough stuff about it, but um, I won't go into much detail. It's just uh, the requirements of the job. That said, I learned a lot. And it's been a great lot of fun. So, in case uh, anyone uh, of um, my new job watches this at some point, you guys are great, seriously. And the girls too, obviously. Well, quite frankly, probably the other way around. Yeah, anyway, so there's that. And then we have uh, the Football Manager related stuff. So, I think I got the faces back in. Because I needed to reinstall Football Manager, obviously. Thinking about the youth players and so on, um, and the generated players, uh, Mr. Jonas Anderson has his face, so that's okay. And most of the youth players here seem to be fine, so no eggheads so far. Um, yeah, the face pack seems to work. Yeah, and given that it's been three weeks or something, um, one additional thing happened, so I was out um, on, on the road, I'd say, um, for my new employment, and I got a message by Twitch that uh, apparently I can apply for the affiliate program, which is uh, a bit of a nonsense, it's a statistical artifact, because, well, one of the last streams was uh, quite decent, so average viewership increased whilst I didn't stream. Which is a bit absurd, so I'm not sure to, uh, if I want to apply. So I thought to myself, well, um, let's do another stream, uh, straight into the void, and then afterwards I will uh, not be able to apply for affiliate anyway. So that should resolve it. In case that doesn't resolve it, I might apply uh, further out. And I can add, uh, run ad breaks now for some reason without uh, the application to uh, for the affiliate program. So um, yeah, user interface has been extend, expanded. So in case I want to annoy my uh, right now non-existent viewership, uh, yeah. That said, um, current version of OBS looks fine. So f so much for preliminaries, I guess. Now. You will probably witness me stumbling back into this game and uh, getting used to whatever we have on our hands right now, because I might have forgotten most of it. Also, um, just as a as a minor addition, you might remember that my mouse was broken and I got a new one, right? Yeah, so that worked out just fine. The new mouse comes without the broken mouse buttons. This is wonderful. Problem is the mouse wheel's broken. So, dead on arrival. Uh, it works sometimes, but it doesn't scroll uh, right. In case you're wondering why I, uh, why I uh, do stuff like I do, it's due to repeatedly broken mouses. Um, I ordered a new one. Yeah. Great. So, what do we have here? Well, we got Yedahok Dalt's IK. I remember that much. We got promoted to a second league in uh, Sweden. So we have no idea if we will be able to retain this league or position in this league. Hopefully we will. We didn't make a, a game so far. Let's look at the schedule. There's another friendly and then the league starts. Yeah, there is that. And we need to get things done here. Let's see if we can
deal with the pressure and um, the higher quality of other players, um, or lack of financial uh, resources, you know, the usual. Um, if you're new to the safe, uh, you might not be familiar. For everyone else, this will sound uh, like a broken rec record at this point. Great! Okay, um, what's with training, how's sharpness overall, how's the medical report in general? And is there anything we need to do? That's probably the first things we need to know. So it looks like we, we have some additional match practice. This is fine. There's an additional match, match practice here. This looks like we cheated it in because there might have been a friendly here. Um, it's out now. Otherwise, this is great overall. Hopefully we can get some development out for players, but you know, preseason in Sweden is always a bit tricky. So I don't think we will. According to the Twitch overlay, not even the bots are here. Yeah. In case you're um, you're new here, feel free to ask questions. Any additional stuff? We should probably look at the squad in case I forgot who's in the squad at this point. Uh, I might remember some uh, former players that uh, are out of the club at this point. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, hopefully the squad plan is up to date. It isn't. You want to watch me for an hour, another hour um, going through the squad planner because we have trials? No, we will not do that. We will not do that. Okay, so goalkeeper position. What do we have? We've got Westberg, Eriksson, Sederberg and uh, Entenberg. Entenberg is a youth player. Um, I'm glad he's at the club, but um, he's a former temperamental player. Um, professionalism and ambition improved recently, if I'm not mistaken. So that's okay. But otherwise, um, look at that development, it's not wonderful, right? He needs playing time, he needs to the playing time now. He's available for loan, nobody wants him. Apparently he's also a uh, uh, leader down there in the U19. Oh, we gave him a full-time contract? Oh, that's per year. Oh, yeah, great. So, um, already we, we got some stuff to do. Um, so, I'm used to wages in per month. US English is fine. Currency, US dollar, definitely not. I have no idea about the dollar. And salary on a monthly basis, please. Or was it weekly? I think we had it on weekly. Let's have a look. This is where the player faces disappear. Because skin gets reloaded. And then I will look like a dumbass on the stream for the rest of my days on the internet. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This looks fine. 9 euros a week. This is more like it. Westberg is on 7 euros a week. This is what I remember. And Sederberg might have a full time contract. Exactly. So he's on 120. Great. So quality wise, um, let's try to assess this. Sederberg is still a decent goalkeeper. His phys physicals are in decline. I do not think he will play throughout the season. That said, um, I'm still comfortable with him as a backup member and I still want him as a member going forward of the staff, which he might or might not do at some point. But, well, maybe we get Jeder Hockdals IK into his favorite clubs. Then there's Theo Eriksson. Ericsson, um, I feel like the personality might be a bit of a problem. We don't know for sure how his personality is. He's got good throws overall for this, well, not for this level, for, for third league maybe. Um, not for second level, but for our club he's got decent long throws. Overall stats are fine for a goalkeeper, but not great. That said, he's 23. I want to include him in the squad due to the, um, due to the long throw taking and... Uh, the preferred move, the trade. And then there's Westberg. The problem with Westberg is he improves. So, yeah. Maybe he will make the odd appearance. As you can see, he trains well. Hopefully we didn't praise them all recently. Yeah, that works fine. So, three goalkeepers, not much between them. Um, this is okay. 
I might also want to take a look at the regen guide just for a second. No, okay. So um, this is uh, great. What is happening? Um, this region guy is uh, another manager that got included um, for full of player faces, for new gen player faces, and there it is. I just thought apparently I broke the game. No, um, so this is a manager that is strictly on holiday all the time. It's just uh, used for uh, for scouting purposes uh, for you know a script that is needed for the player faces. That's it. In case you're not familiar, um, yeah. If anyone's interested, I might link a tutorial to new gen uh, to the face pack. But um, no. Can I have the other guy, please? Yeah, wonderful. So we will not touch the, that region guy anymore until uh, new players are generated and we need to do it all over again. Um, I will not do that on stream though. Um, it's annoying. Cool! Kalmar FF. What's with Kalmar? I have no idea about this club. I need Mika Billion. Or anyone else uh, from Sweden really to assess this stuff. They're a professional club. Yeah, well, we are too. And if we look at the players they got in, not much information about them. This is a new gen. This is definitely is not a new gen. Um, but if I look at this, um, I think we might stand a chance, but not a big one. So who are these? Oh, they are probably on one of our shortlists. Hasan Begovic. I remember Hasan Begovic. I've I do not remember this guy. No, I I, remem I remember Ibrahim, Ibrahim Begovic, probably. I think that was the name. So he's a former Premier Division player. Fast. This is not our kind of striker. Let's put it that way. Strikers, I think we still have Waltzund around. Yeah, exactly. Waltzund... We try to play as a deep lying forward. Ishak, definitely not. He trains as a pressing forward. And then what's left? Yeah, for defensive formation we go with pressing forward, that's fine. And then there's probably... Well, these are crap. I guess Austrim trains as a pressing forward too. No, box-to-box -box midfielder at this point. Not that it matters. He needs to go. Uh, I think we had a youth player. Not this one, though. This one's interesting, though. So... But we got money for him. That's why we loaned him out. No, um, there's another one. Um, one that can... play on the left wing, for sure. I remember that guy. I just don't remember his name. Pair friends on it is, is it? Yeah, that one. That looks about right. Right-footed, rather fast. I think he trains as a deep line forward though. Exactly. So the hopes are that uh, he can uh, grow into this position. And we will probably let Marcus Waltzund leave at some point because Ruben Bernigo mm, will join us sooner rather than later. And that guy will play. And it's highly unlikely that anyone else will, given the low suspicionability to injury. I remember that stuff. Okay. There's also, um, I think, well-known people, for me at least, uh, for the rest of the positions. There's a problem with Kunt on the left wing back position. He doesn't look like a great personality, um, so not a great addition to, to the squad. Overall, Dirk is still around. Good personality. Um, he lost determination, I think. He was resolute um, previously. Not so great with the injury suspicionability, but we will make do with those. 
Hargidal and Hellstrom are okay. Mm, I think Hargidal will not be the one to play there, though. We've got enough central defenders to replace him. Yeah. So, primary choices will probably be reselected. Let's go on with this. Also, hardware didn't change, so all of this will be um, in slow mode. Yeah. I hope you had a, a good week, a good last week, and, uh, well, overall a great time. Do we want to get rid of him? I think we wanted to. They want to pay us for him. This is wonderful. Given his physicals, I think he needs playing time. Goodbye, Mr. Sivinsky. Have a good time out on loan. Sure. I never ran an ad on Twitch, so there's a green button now down there um, in, the, in the stream manager. I wouldn't earn a single cent because I didn't apply for affiliate, but strictly speaking, um, I would want to experiment with this at some point just to know how it works. But um, yeah, I don't want to annoy you just <laughs> 17 minutes into the stream. That said, um, there, there's a, a lot of new options here, like sub-only chat, for example. Why would I do that? I, I guess for big channels that makes some sense. Benjamin Riomo, is this a former player of ours? Yeah, I think so. We, we let him leave, alright? It's not like he's too bad, but just doesn't fit our playing style too well. Hmm. Well, I recognize at least one name in chat, so welcome back, I guess. Hope you're doing great rest of uh, <laughs> the, the people I do not recognize, obviously, too. And if you see this later on on YouTube, well, uh, yeah. You can skip the break, at least. Oh, that's not my job. It's about... What is it? General manager? What the hell is a general manager? This is new. Can somebody enlighten me? What? Football manager did get an update and they renamed the role, did they? Where is it? Staff. Oh. Is this the director of football? Why is it called general manager? Oh no, I got an idea. Seriously? Feels good to be back on stream though. I kind of missed it. Here we go! They call it a uh, general manager in the United States. And given that we want to uh, stick to um, proper British English, um, we will call it director of football going forward. Otherwise, uh, maybe s there would have been some appearances of soccer in here, and I do not want that. It's called football, at least for me. Okay, so that resolves that. Um, general manager. Anyway, I don't think we need a director of football. I think Mika Bullion wanted me to, to sign one though. Or somebody else? 
maybe 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 it's somebody uh, that uh, is related to um bakery. I'm not sure anymore who it was. Sorry. Yeah, but um, I do not want to do that, especially um, given that our assistant manager is on the same level as the director of football. So forget about it. I will not waste that money. And yes, I realize that we will get money, but no. Uh, where is it? It's in transfers. Here. Okay, he's assistant coach. What the hell? Seriously? It's called assistant manager. What happened? What did I do? Yeah, this is even better. So, <laughs> here it's called coach and assistant manager, but in the other menu it's assistant coach. Sure, sure, whatever. <laughs> so, let's just ignore that. And in case you know what's going on, let me know. Um, yeah, we will, we will, uh, can gil still get um, transfer suggestions here. And Marius Nils Bucken is uh, way better than whatever we can get in, as an assistant, yeah, as a director of football. Or general manager, if you want to put it that way. So um, I will not employ another one. If we can get someone with uh, good knowledge overall, then we might do it though. Great! Let's go forward with this. Chris Cavillior FC. I have no idea if this is a big club or a small one. Can we... He's neither young nor he's a, uh, is he a candidate. I guess he... Yeah. The stuff with the shortlists is really annoying. We should get rid of that scouting re regime just because it's annoying in game. We got the money to do some scouting now, do we? Or is it by the way? Scouting range, no scouting. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Forget about uh, scouting for now. I do not think we want to. That looks decent. It's still a okay. Seriously. Look at this. This is great. Overall. Especially, um, I, I want that focus on Eastern Europe. For uh, monetary reasons. E economic reasons? Economic reasons. I guess countries like. Um, like Ukraine, Bulgaria, um, Slovenia, maybe all all of the all of the Bal Balkans, basically. Um, this is where we should um, be able to find players that are really cheap. Um, maybe I, I don't know about uh, quality wise about um, about Lithuania and so on. Um, so that might be a problem. But I think I want to include some some countries that um, might uh, give us some, some good, uh, you know, intake. Um, not youth intake specifically, but uh, maybe after the season. Hopefully we can uh, we can stay in the league. Great, okay, we need Ericsson. Is there, is there a transfer window? Is the transfer window closed? Is it yeah, I thought so. So transfer window closes um, after the last friendly. So we need to do business, and I'm s I'm the one skipping forward right now. Okay, Paul Coleman. I think he's an option for the future. He doesn't train that bad, I think. Let's see. Well, well, 
Uh, I guess he needs to play. Great. We wanted to loan him out. We didn't find some uh, anyone just yet. Yeah. Oh no, mouse wheel's broken. I cannot skip through these windows. Oh. Yeah. That will be a fun one. Still, we want him to be a goalkeeper, to play as a goalkeeper, uh, like this. Yes, I want to. Same with Westberg. Um, I do not want to force him out of the club, necessarily, but he needs to play. And he will not play enough at this club. With Setterberg, I'm not concerned about the playing time. Not much. Anyway. But these guys, they need to play, and uh, if I recall it correctly, nobody was interested. Jonas Anderson is part of a mentoring group, if I'm not mistaken. He's important as a leader. Well, as a mentor. However you want to put it. What's with these guys? Oh, yeah. Um, the, the Polish guy left. Um, well, he's, he's half Polish, half English, if I'm not mistaken. Nilsson, fairly pro. Do they have traits? They move the ball to the right foot before dribbling. Not a trade for him. For Frederick Nilsson, though, he's a setter back. Definitely not. I do not want him to move the ball anywhere. I do not want him to dribble. Not one of these. He's left-footed, so definitely not. He's right-footed. He shouldn't dribble either. Low determination is also a horrible personality, so let's get him into this mentoring group. Not that I care much about him, I think. No. He... That's one of the ones that needs to go anyway. I think this is where we left off. Offering players out to other clubs and uh, nobody wants them. This is, this is what I remember, yeah. Hargidal. Baltigrod Blom might uh, go out on loan. He's listed for loan, he's not great personality-wise, but he's a good addition. Mentoring group says... Is Boltigrad Blum around? He's in here. He's with Tillander and Pouquet. Well... Pouquet might need it. So... I'm not entirely decided. I want money for him, I guess. Because Pugas mentoring can be done by somebody else, uh, Hellstrom or somebody. Uh, not Hell, Hellberg, I think it is, the midfielder. So, that might be okay. I do not think they will offer that much for him, though. That much. So that's Boltigrad Blom. Hargidal can remain with the club. Smalovic can remain with the club. I think that's uh, that's clear by now. Um, Anderson too. Um, we will keep him just for mentoring duties. Also, he's club captain. I think. Rigby. Oh yeah, I remember Rigby. So Rigby's on an adhesion contract. I think. And on one of these adhesion contracts that doesn't fit the professional status of the club. No professional contract for him. We need to get rid of him. He's not good enough and he he trains well, but he never will be. It's just my assessment. I might be wrong, though. You know. You never know with the young people. So, Mr. Rigby, maybe we can get rid of you. 
Mr. Bookrand's already listed for loan. With good reason that is, he needs to play. He needs to play a lot, actually. Maybe he will find a club. Most likely not, though. Good thing we didn't uh, do any promises. Who's next? Nagongo. I think Nagongo will remain with the club. He's not the greatest player we have here. Is he the one that's... He's unhappy. Yeah, he's, he's the one that uh, wants to go. So we definitely need Nagongo. Heldström is our primary left central defender. Um, Semi Smalovic here. You might argue that Hagedal is the, uh, no, the primary choice here. But we'll see. Jake Bradford? Yeah, I remember him. So he needs a change in personality, but he can remain with the club as a backup option. Um, this is one of the reasons why Bodyguard Blum should leave. And there's Michael Huckberg here. Did we buy him? This looks like a decent addition personality wise. Yeah. Uh, I think this is where where I confess to um not rem remembering my own players. There's there's something in there. But that name is not familiar with me. Not yet anyway. Walden, I remember Walden. Who the hell is in Dwayne, yeah, that, that's a youth player, the one that dives into tackles, yeah, I remember that one. So he needs to go, but um, he list, he's listed for loan and nobody wants him. Anything new with, new, uh, with you guys? Let me know. It's been a while. Also, we need to test chat. That's a primary reason why I ask. There's a transfer deadline day recruitment meeting too. Okay. Oh god. To play football manager with a broken mouse wheel is uh, even more atrocious than with uh, with a broken mouse button. I don't care about his playing time. Doesn't matter to me. So, we want 5 euros a week and this needs to be fixed. Let's be friendly. We, we just want a tiny bit of money for him. Yes, do not pop up these messages. Somebody gets snapped up, I don't care, go away. He's not even with the club yet. Well, he's on trial. He's on trial and he trains like a beast. Fairly pro, apparently. I think he was pro previously, though. So, his personality might have uh, declined. Jonas Pettersson. Okay. He's one of the new ones, I see. No, he's 18. He's not that new anymore. Um, I think I remember him. Physicals wise, this is not fantastic, but it's not that far off. So, um, with some imagination, I can. Uh, yeah. I think he might stand a chance going forward. That said, technicals and mentals are. Look at that flair. He's strictly a defensive guy, if at all. And if I look at positioning and off-the-ball movement and so on, yeah, there's some major deficits here. 
training's fine though, we can uh, try to get some dribbling into him. He probably won't like it though. Okay, apparently the coach thinks he needs to do crossing. Yeah, okay, do crossing, whatever. Um, that said, uh, well done. Great. Oberg, Valu, I don't want to comment on that, all of those. By the way, um, any comments about stream quality so far? Um, I think with the new operating system, new um, OBS setup and so on, um, I might have changed a few things um, without noticing. So um, this should still be in uh, 1440p. Um, I don't know if it if it's a similar or if it's uh, the same as previously. Obviously the labels are missing, you know, the ones. So. Where is it? There. Oh. Could use the mouse. <laughs> I could use the cursor. Yeah. So, say we get rid of uh, some of the other players that uh, do not stand a chance in the club, we will probably not reduce wage budget by much. None of those are on full-time contracts, um, nobody will pay them. Not, not full-term anyway, or full-time. Squad numbers, oh god. Westberg does not want a new... Mm. And I do not want to sell him. 2028. I do want to sell him. Yeah, his contract runs out at the end of the season. Um, let's try this. He left loans. This is... This isn't great, but it's not a bad signing, is it? He's on a short list. He's on a default short list, so I wanted to see if we can get him in. For, I guess, register purposes, because this is not bad overall. It's, it's not great, not for this level of league, but if we can loan him out and get some development out of him, this is not bad. He can not have a trial. Let's go with a contract immediately. No, we will not do that. You will be youngster. And dead wage is too much. Dead wage is uh, perfectly fine. Yeah, no medical problems to speak of. He's 20, so... That's not fantastic age-wise, but it's okay-ish. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. This is okay. We will have an option for an extension, though. And an injury release clause, just because we can. Apparently not. Oh no. Uh, something like this? Fantastic! So we can extend his contract for another year if we want to. Um, I think he's a, an addition to the squad that's okay-ish. Um, just for the playmakers. In terms of playmakers, what's available? Signing players without uh, knowing uh, the playmakers you have. That's That sounds like me. 
Yeah, this guy. So Vorlin. Um, but Vorlin uh, somehow managed to gain a trait that uh, makes him run with the ball, which is utter nonsense for a playmaker. I do not want that on a playmaker. In fact, I want Vorlin to be gone, I think. Pawn is on the unwanted list. Karovic is listed for low, and Malta Ekman is our current playmaker. He's more or less what we have. Please tell me Warlin and uh, Ekman are not in one mentoring group. I do not want him to run with the ball. That's the blank forward here. No, there's no playmaker group. Uh, I don't think so. But a Warlin. I want to sell this guy actually. Yeah. Okay, so we're we're trying to get rid of the trade now, but. Who are you? A balanced guy on uh, the left wing. I think we've got two options there. We will need to see if they can... Uh... Oh, he's not interested. Well, I am interested, so you will still get the offer. Maybe you can get some interest. If not, he would remain with the club, so that's okay. I don't know you, go away. I don't know him at all. Yates will his le uh, leave us tomorrow. That's not bad, but we definitely do not need another striker. Um, especially not an 18 year old. Heading is great. That's, um, that's really something. Well, I think he can leave. Yeah, squad numbers. Okay. This will be horrible. I do not care about Tobias Pawn. Kunt can have the 6, Ostrom can have the... Well, he doesn't need the 8 anymore. You can have none. Stahl. Sure, you can have the 11. Why not? Payovic. Payovic doesn't need a 12. <laughs> yeah. So, he can have the 13. I do not care about Berg. Give him number 39. Why not? Seriously, the rest of them. No, oh, he will not play anyway. Thirty-seven numbers. I don't know if there's a limit. Let's just submit this and hope for the best. We'll see. This is where it starts. Pulled hamstring, seriously? Why? Apparently Dirk will play in the first game. And our French uh, duet? No, it's not duet. Well, the two French people will not play on the left wing. At least not for starters. Later on, maybe.
There's also horrible news from my household. I have to admit, there's no more chocolate. And I definitely need chocolate. So. Maybe I should go out for shopping at some point. The important things in life, I know. There's 28 trials that finish back here. Yeah. <laughs> the top gold score odds. Do, do we want to look at it? Okay. Well, that's not bad. So most of these are players that we just uh, realized g that got released and that's all of it. I think Malta Ekman will definitely play here. What's for Smalovic on his uh, tactical familiarity though? Still trains as a ball playing defender, I think we can get rid of this. Next season. Yeah, we will play him as a central defender, so he can stop tra to train for that. And a similar argument can be for made for Hellstrom and everyone else. I do not think Hargadal trains uh, passing or something. Hard to say what he needs though. Guess composure, but his decision making is good. Yeah, don't I don't know. There there's a reason why we signed those young guys. Cause um whilst these two are great, Hellstrom will not renew his contract by Runs out the uh, end of next year, but he will not renew his contract, so we need somebody new that, uh, back there. And this position, well, Burnson is the better one, but uh, I think Nagongo will play and Burnson is on his way out, if I'm not mistaken. Conte is injured, Burnson, as I said, on his way out. Then there's Dirk, and we got Huckberg there apparently, um, which I forgot. This is the low position. And this, if I can help with this Nila for sales position. Tillander, Waltzund, well, Bernie Go going forward, but Waltzund for the next half of the season. And this is Dylan Morgans. And maybe Puges. Yes, Mr. Antoine Puget. Monsieur Puget. It is for us. He's still around. Will your... There's also a question, um, I think we already determined that we will play in a positive formation anyway. Just because it's more in line with our club's uh, playing style goals. Or targets, if you want to put it that way. Great. Oh, so yeah, Burn. Ah, that's a problem. So I wanted to renegotiate with Burnson, 
but his contract runs out at the NFT season, he thinks he's too good for the club, and he doesn't want a full-time contract. Not with us, anyway. So that's why we need to loan him out. And at least get a fee for him. On loan. I will not make a parting court, uh, comment. Get out. We need money. Twelve euros a month though is nothing. <laughs> like seriously. For a player of this of this uh, quality. That's not great. Yeah, I'm sure general training is just fine. Same of this. So I think we included uh, these um, kinds of sessions. No physical uh, focus in here. Um, a lot of recovery, actually. And I think we did this due to the fact that we um, know that we want to get bit, uh, better a little bit, um, everywhere, basically. But we also need a lot of match preparation for every single match. And this is wrong. One hour into the stream, and I get tired all of a sudden. I do not know any of these people. I do not want to go through this. Please give me a summary to the inbox and then I will be annoyed by the kind of advice that we get. So he's gone. He's gone. Toby Yates, I guess his name is Toby, he would be available for cheap, he's 18, he's got balanced personality, and is media friendly. What's this? Oh. I, I don't know how much this is, sorry. Let's get this two meters if we can do it. Currencies here. Do we have sizes somewhere? Can't seem to find it. Formats. Yeah, temperature and Fahrenheit. That'll be it. Feet. Why? Just give me everything in normal units, please. That's. I guess that's okay. 
Yeah. I, n I never understood this. Month, month, day, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is the weirdest format ever. This is a, this is a decent format, by the way. This is SQL like so. Um, I guess I can can relate to this the most. That said, um, we are all used to to this kind of format in Europe, I think. So. Do this, this is a comma. Digit grouping symbol. Well, how about this? Grouping symbol. Conventions of um of this kind of stuff are all over the place on this plant. It's fantastic. Everybody has different conventions and if you uh, translate uh, anything, you you cannot stick to your own conventions anymore. Nobody will understand you. Yeah, so... Now we're getting somewhere. He's not that tall, he's not that heavy. He's got really good heading though. But that's about it. For an 18 year old, is this worth the offer? Probably not. He's an English guy though. And we, didn't, we need to sign Englishman, but he doesn't have a great personality. He's balanced, determination 12, you know where this ends. So, I also lost all of my links. Great, I need to Google this. Mm, this is it. That was easy. So, given that he's balanced, determination is 12 and he's media friendly, if I remember correctly. We know absolutely nothing about him other than his uh, attributes being substandard, more or less. So, we will not sign him. Because I do not want to. Let's get rid of this guy. And this one. Oh no, Mr. Friendson, what's going on? A tight thigh. Hopefully I didn't butcher that. TH for, for Germans in general, but uh, me in particular is... Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is fourth league, is it? Okay. We need to demolish these. Who's playing? There's no... Who are you? No, this is central defender. There's no option for um, right wing back other than Anderson, so he can go to the bench. Hagedal and Boltigard Blom, I don't think so. So, uh, probably Berkren. Rigby is really bad. Or Bradford. Not you, that's for sure. Wallen. I guess this is the best we have. For left wing with position in that situation. Well, no. There's somebody else. Hookberg. Now, for playmaker, um, same debate. I think Vorlin is the be second best player there, but given that he runs with the ball often, uh, I'm not too fond of the idea. Malta Ekman will need to play. Kont is injured, um, we need central midfield now. Yeah. Melander and Korovic are both on their way out, I think. If we can help it, which, well, we probably can't. 
he will be gone. That's fantastic. Dear. This guy will probably need to play at some point. Mr. Oliver Swan, if you could please make up on your undoubtedly great potential. Or maybe not so undoubtedly. Then we need a box to box midfielder. It's either Helberg or Ostrom, the rest of them are. Not viable options. Wilma Melander. I guess as a register, but he didn't do well there. No, it's it's Hilberg or um Hilberg or Ostrom and Ostrom is just too bad. So don't think we will play him. Anton Ishak for the bench for the strikers. And then there's well, one for the right wing, one for the left wing. Right wing... Who replaces Tillander? Left wing is Puget. That's clear. Right wing, definitely not Per Schall. I cannot imagine that we did that. Anton Anderson... That doesn't sound right. Modig Franson, definitely not. Is there a hole in this squad? Seriously? What did I do? Lil Yadal was a left winger. Gustafsson was... shit. Oh, Rina Dobrak, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Oh, doorbell. So, minor break. Be right back. Who oh knows, I could have run an ad break. Seriously though. Yeah, I was one of the neighbors. So, Rino Dobrak is not available. This is bullshit. Per Franson will not play here if I can help it. Uh, Walson neither. I think we might just happen to need another player here. Yeah. Right. Can we just... no. Of course there's no shortcut for this. Everybody get out. So we need another player as a replacement for August Tillander. Who was there? Speedy Boy. Speedy Boy was here. What about him? Where's Speedy Boy? Did we loan him out? We loaned him out due to, due to uh, proneness to injury, is it? Sure. Also they pay us for it. 
this doesn't look familiar. I'm, I might have gotten used to other um, another date format. Yeah, well, it will be like this going forward. Okay. Is there anyone in youth? Uh, I don't think so. Ericsson right footed, mm hmm. Crate or Berg, mm hmm. These all look like not great options. He's a winger. Right footed, decent pace, runs with ball through center, though. No, I don't think so. 24. This. To some degree, this looks like I could have, I, I might have had the idea that we need somebody else for right wing, apparently. Maybe I had an idea. And apparently I blew our entire capacity of uh, trial lists on right wingers. And all of these are not wonderful. He's spirited at least. Place one two, Somalian. Well, the Somalian nationality doesn't matter really. Well, he speaks Swedish, so that's good. Um, how old are you? 20. 20 and first division set. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. He's a speedy guy, not as fast as speedy boy and uh, seriously lacking in the rest of attributes, low suspicionability to injury though. Yeah, that's the one I just had a look at now, I, I wanted to look at this guy. He looks a bit more rounded. Not that fast though. And all of these are true wingers, if I'm not mistaken. He is left footed. He is left footed and can play as a backup on... Well, no, he can't. Seriously, like, he... No. No. Here on ambitious Lajos Hagen Killich Ruse. None of this looks um, none of this looks decent. None at all. Please tell me you can play winger. No you can't. So, there's two ways to resolve this. Way one, we gamble it. Talanda plays 40 games per season. Or however much we need to play. And we hope for the best. Which might not, might not be that good. If we need a replacement, we play with a, de a real winger um, out here. Or we use one of the left wing backs. Um, they need more playing time anyway, so I don't know. The odd 
absolutely incapable player might play there from time to time. I think Oliver Swan has a strong left foot. He needs playing time anyway. Yeah, he's entirely unused to it, but uh, I, I guess he has traits that uh, complement this kind of behavior. Or, I don't know, one of the wingbacks. So, that could be an idea. Korovic. I can't see that. Low. Neither. For sell? No, not at all. I, I guess he can play here for... <laughs> yeah, okay. We, we might play him there. Um... If we are, I don't know, disturbed at some point. Um, yeah, we, we might play a youth player or something. I do not want to spend any more money on these people. With the playmaker, that's a bit different, I think. Um, I'm under the impression that multi Ekman doesn't develop that much. So either the next season we'll uh, see him, uh, I, I don't know, not go through the roof, but uh, have some serious improvement, or um, he might not even make it to a level that's uh, acceptable for this league. So um, right now we have a squad that is um, borderline capable to, to retain the league, if we are lucky. That's great, let's have a recruitment meeting. Wonderful, a lot of contracts expire. Thank you very much. Player status, Lillian Dahl is listed. Yeah. yeah, but... Why did he improve after leaving? Seriously? Reduce his asking price. What asking price? Uh, I do not think we need a winger out here. He's really damn cheap though. Forget that I said anything. He's not cheap at all, he wants uh, a lot of money. <laughs> He's okay, uh, price-wise. Wage-wise though, oh, apparently he's okay wage-wise too. But, well, as a fullback I, I don't think he will do, or as a wingback, if I look at this. Apparently the mouse will work sometimes. Um, yeah, if I look at this, Crossing dribbling, this is not great. And as a central defender... I have serious doubts about the heading and the strength. So, not doing that. I can't even get rid of these here. Okay. Mr. Rydberg... Yeah, he's good. He's not great, but he's good. 20 year old, um, first division south. Too expensive though, wage wise. He's on a shortlist for a reason. He's a fickle goalkeeper. Fickle's not the worst of it, but. He would be cheap, suspicious to injury though. I don't like players that are suspicious to injury. He's with the U19 of Sweden though. Still, don't think this is a good idea. And then there's Yusuf Alan. If we want to play with five strikers. Yeah, no. In fact, I, I want to get rid of him. I do not want him. To... Yes, I want to remove this guy. 
with him, the fickle personality and suspicibility to injury doesn't sound like something I want. Ridberg. He's on a default shortlist for a reason. And the other two I'm not interested in either. So, thank you very much for the recommendations and goodbye. I should go through these at some point. I'm conflicted on this. On one hand, I think decision making is a really important attribute for a midfielder overall. On the other hand, I think um, technique and passing aren't good enough for a midfielder. I need to go for the light switch. I just noticed that, uh, you know, there's some natural light here. Well, or um, I can probably do something to the to the curtains. Give me a second. Is that any better? Uh, probably a tiny bit. So, Nila Fossil overall, technicals wise, needs an improvement. Same with the mantles, but it's not that he's horrible. Um, same old story. And I don't know what to focus on really. On his performances and training. But final third training is not the worst of it. Is there something that we need in the squad? Corner taking he will not do. Free kick taking he might, but he's not great at it. Penalty taking he might, but he's not great at it. That said, given that he plays most of the time, the idea to use him as a set piece taker for, for example, penalties is not the worst of it, but there's other players on the pitch most of the time that can do it. Bernigo is a bad penalty taker? Wow. Wow, okay. What about free kicks? No, 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 go away. There's Korovic, there's Low. Low will be on the pitch most of the time. The others here, not so much. Well, it was once the next one. Yeah, so I guess Low, Korovic, or all of us one will be on the pitch. I do not think we need to train Nila for sales free kick taking. This doesn't sound right. And the same with the penalty taking, really. So, what's left? Um. He might take the odd shot, and this is in line with what the coach recommends, so let's do this, or can we find a weakness in here, even if it's just a minor one? Well, tackling, okay, great. And this is dribbling and finishing, so let's go with the finishing. Where is it? Shouldn't. No. This menu really not. You can't scroll this menu, by the way. Not even with a broken mouse wheel. Great. He wants to come in. For 120 per week. Let's look at him once more. He's a fairly professional player that is level headed. Fairly professional. Butcher that one. Level headed. This is the wrong option. 
Still didn't, uh, I, I still didn't do um, the, the browser inclusion, I think. No, I didn't. Um, I should do browser inclusion at some point for OBS. Um, for now, I'm happy that I did the other stuff. So, anti-termination is 12, and yes, he's a new gen. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, Level-headed it was. Great. So, he's got very good professionalism, 15 to 20. And uh, decent loyalty, 11 to 20. He's, well, ambition, pressure are all over the place. Sportsmanship is uh, above average, between 5 and 20. Temperament between 7 and 20. And controversy is between 1 and 14. This overall is a good personality, so I'm very willing to bet on this. Yes, we can have him. And Baltic Girl Blum can go. Adam Grugen. Okay, let's remove him from the shortlist. In fact, um, <laughs> it's an, uh, kind of annoying already with the shortlists. I realized that I did this to myself, and this is uh, this has been a part of the concept of you uh, know all safe, but maybe we can set up some scouting at some point. You know, like a proper football club. He's in and he's with the senior squad immediately. And we will train him as a register, even though he doesn't think he can do that. Maybe. Long shots, I don't think that's that important for a register. The rest of it will come with playing time. Physicals could improve a little bit, but he's 20, so we got a chance. Medical report says below average, this is fine. Final third training? Don't think so. I, I think of the ball uh, movement, really. Um, so, attacking movement. Because his off the ball, mov off the ball movement is really bad. And once his off the ball movement improves a little bit, um, he will be a decent passing option. And that's all we want with him. Yeah, he can go. I don't care. Apparently Sederberg will be on the bench. And the gong... No. What did we do? Do we train them too hard? Do we? Really? Well, in that case, let's not do that anymore. Let's go with some light tactical training here. And hope for the best. There won't be any hard training next uh, week anyway. And I absolutely do not want to include rest sessions. We've got staff at the club that is... Uh, Required to do that job for um, recovery. Physios and, uh, you know, the other guys in the medical department. But um, the increase in injuries is something that uh, that is definitely noticeable. Um, especially the, the smaller injuries so far. Anyone's got any ideas what we need? Player-wise, any doubts about the squad? 
Let me know. So, who are you, Mr. Andre Kamp? I do not think I will sign a 29-year-old at this point. Especially not in a position that we don't need. So, I'm not interested. Dion Krasniki. Same. Yeah, would want a wage between 1.2k and 1.7k per week. What the actual... Under no circumstance, sir. He's from... The good thing is, um, we finally get offers by agents. This is fantastic. That's it. He's a he's an international or you know under twenty three international. So no. Ibrahim Habib. No. And I think uh, we realized that we do not need a goalkeeper. Famous last words. No words. So, don't think this is viable. Santos, who are you? A Brazilian with Rio de Janeiro? This is, this is better, this is in line with what we can pay if we want to. But... We have playmaker material, so I do not think I'm interested. Preseason report of Tabby. Six players in. <laughs> they paid 27k for a player. They paid 27k for a striker in the Finnish Premier League. Yeah, don't know, don't care. Sivinsky will not have a professional contract right now. He will play semi-pro and then we will look at the situation later on. Collective win bonuses for this season. What do we want to offer collective win bonuses wise? So I guess we can offer high bonuses, can we? Yeah, what's 30k overall? Um if we 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 get additional money um in the league. Let's have a look at the rules. They get higher bonuses for places up to... Well, okay, so this is highly unrealistic. This will not happen. So we're talking down here. 16, 15 and uh, 14 are the same amount of uh, revenue, or prize money it is. Same amount of prize money. That said, um, we need to get out of this zone anyway. So... Um, if we can offer another 30k to get out of this zone, this is great. The 30k would be uh, for uh, for first spot, though, I think. 
So this will be scaled down. So we'll like try and off uh, to offer um, I don't know, five k for a difference of twelve uh, k in prize money. I'm very willing to do that. And uh, if we retain uh, the league um, by finishing twelve or above, it's well worth the money. So high win bonuses it is. I don't care what anyone thinks. Um, we will throw money at the players, especially given that uh, this. Uh, kind of money will be paid with the prize money. So we can promise whatever we want. Sure, we could be frugal about it, but I'd rather be in the league than being frugal. We can be frugal later on. Or, I don't know, at the same time. I think it might be worth it. If it helps to motivate the players, I'm happy with it. How's finances, by the way? Club finances, that is. Yeah. This will not end well. So, we will do the last friendly. And afterwards, I don't know if we will do the start into the season just yet. Great, goodbye. Who is he? Oh, we signed another goalkeeper, did we? We signed another goalkeeper. He looks decent, and uh, it's great that he's out on loan. I don't care. Or do I? No, I don't. Nogongo and Westberg are both injured. So I guess Anderson plays. Well, for this kind of friendly he should do. Sederberg on the bench. Do we have somebody? Somebody that can play there. Bradford? No. Oh. Paintson is still unwilling to go. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, Burnson. Burnson is out on loan. Okay. Uh, I I guess Tobias Palm. Yeah. 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 It's not. Let's not look at it. I. Too late. Oh God. Okay. I guess Korovic can go on the bench too, and same with Melander. It's not like there's any quality left, right? Guess Per Franson, and where's Ishak? He's on the bench already. Stahl, Andersen, Moldig, this is all crap. Austrim. Count is injured. I guess Jake Bradford is uh, the least of our concerns. So he can be on the bench, and the rest of them really. Either they are injured, or they are out on loan, or they are trialists that come in later on, or they need to leave. Yeah. And now we will get some. Uh, oh, for. Seriously? Seriously? We went with tactical training. Our primary central defender just got knocked out of the of the start of the season. Good 
But I need to train them, do I? Hi man. And welcome to the stream. Given that this is a first time chat, I guess uh, you're new to the stream, so um, let me know what you think of it or um, whatever concerns you. If you have any questions, uh, want to chat about something. And uh, have a nice weekend, by the way. The safe's going, um, how do I put this? I think the safe's going great, overall. Um, in case you're interested, there's like 200 hours of it on YouTube. Um, but... So, <laughs> private circumstances. Uh, hi, my name's Chris and um, I started a new job in real life recently. So, it's not like I had a lot of time to play football manager recently. And uh, now I get, I, I guess I, I get reintroduced to my squad at this point. It's like, a, it feels like real life to me. I got introduced to, to a team that I might have known previously. So, yeah. That said, um, we're playing uh, Jüderhockdals IK. This is a small village club in Sweden. Um, a farmer's community, if I'm not mistaken. And, well, we got promoted to second league in Sweden. So this is two leagues up um, now from the starting position. And we're desperately trying to make do with what we have. Which is not much. Um, there's There were a lot of jokes about potatoes for payment. You're Norwegian? So! Quiz time for you. If you go over to YouTube, the channel's named No Use for My Soul too. Um, if you go over to YouTube, you might notice that the stadium is a picture of something. Do you feel this is politically insensitive to have a Swedish club with that kind of picture? And if you do, let me know why. Yeah, I, I don't want to look through these. All of these are shit. The entire wingers we, we got in uh, as trialists. None of these were worth it. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it, it might pop up at some point. <laughs> so this is... Uh, it. Yeah, it should. Uh, but but it's a bit delayed. Um, I I use uh, <laughs> well. <laughs> there's a story to it, so um, I, I I will tell you. Um, given that there well there there's one other person around, and uh, let's just say Mr. Explosive Birthday Cake knows the story. Um, yeah, hopefully I I get to do it. Um, seriously. Um, you're well. Rev ugh. Very welcome um, to be around. There's also Norwegian, uh, well, there's one Norwegian player in the squad who's also a Frenchman, so um, usually um, we go with the French pronunciation. But, um, story for the picture first. So, Jede uh, Hockdals, as I said, is a small Swedish village, village club. I dropped them a mail at some point about the thumbnails, because there's a really nice picture um, on Facebook uh, for their pitch, which is, uh, you know, what do you expect the pitch of that club size to look like? Let me put it that way. But it's it's really ni nice colors and all. Um, it's it's a nice picture, and uh, I never got an answer. Yeah, I'll look into I'll look into it later though, um, if that's okay with you. Um, I don't want to interrupt the stream right now. Um, but let's see. This doesn't start a video, does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah. Nice, nice one, and. Uh, Nice suit, man. So, yeah, not bad. Anyway, um, the 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 picture stuff. Um, I never got a uh, an answer, and um, you know, starting out as a YouTuber, I I didn't feel uh, inclined to start out uh, with copyright infringement on the first day. So I guess I needed another picture, and the only nice drone shot we found um, of a stadium with snow was Norwegian. Or as one of the, I, I think it was Mika Billion, uh, one of the um, regular uh, followers of this, or regular watchers of this stream, that uh, mentioned that this is uh, the, the worst insult that I could have chosen. 
because I picked a Norwegian stadium for a Swedish club. So, uh, yeah. It was an accident. This is what happens if you don't answer my emails. <laughs> Seriously though, I hope they do at some point. Um, yeah, that's the story about the thumbnail. And uh, now we need to, uh, <laughs> yeah, retain the position of the league and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Also about the Norwegian player, um, there's a love-hate relationship, at least for me, with Westpuget. Antoine, where are you? He's on a bench, is he? Um, I so I I reset up the operating system. I don't think it's in the metadata. Give me a second. Um, but I can do a reverse lookup if it's important to you. Where is it? Stream stuff, pictures. So it's it's copyright free. Um, uh, it's from Unsplash. Daniel Charts Hextal. That should be. Oh, that's the name of the photo uh, of the one that took the picture. I'll find it. So this is the picture. I'll just link it to you. This is Sox Van in Oslo. And here's the link for Unsplash. This is copyright free. So that's why I used it. And if it isn't, I've got bigger problems. Because this is the picture I will use for everything for this entire series, right? Um, but that, that should be fine. Yeah, and about the Norwegian player, uh, we signed Antoine Puget at some point. Um, Antoine Puget is, uh, this is a new gen, um, if I'm not mistaken. And he's born in uh, Norway, I think, yeah. But uh, he also, he's got French nationality and uh, the attitude to, go to complement it. If I want to be a bit, uh, you know, stereotypical. Um, he's, that said, um, he improves in ambition and professionalism due to his mentoring group every single time. Which is just an, another way to state that he has really big potential. Personality-wise, I don't know about the skill level. So, there's that. Ishak's progression, I don't care about anymore. Why are you unhappy? High amount of... what? There is no high amount of quickness training. Get out of my hair. And then there's another... What happened here? Did we lose players? We did lose players, did we? Okay, the perfectionist group. So, we use those for the right wing backs. Is there anyone in here that's a viable option to be added in there? Rigby? Well, probably not. All of you are horrible. Wallen definitely not. Another low Ekman. Korovic has traits that do not complement this and then we get nowhere. So let's go by age and just add um, one of the players that is uh, that needs to leave anyway. Why not? Nilsson. Sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he he gets significant influence. And then we've got uh, the inverted winger problem. So Tolanda and Puget are both inverted wingers, this is fine. He winds up opponents, this is the only trait we have in here. We need somebody that can wind up opponents too. 
Somebody like Per Stahl. Not that it matters much. Sure. He can lose his ambition and get some professionalism, maybe. Till Anders. I don't know why the why the fellow didn't pop up, pop up though. Um. Oh, on YouTube maybe. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for it. Um, I, I'm. Uh, as an, thanks uh, for the follow. Good, <laughs> there it is. Uh, <laughs> so I, I didn't want to force you into the follow though. Um, thank you very much. Um, it did. No, um, I, I kept thinking about um, about OBS. Um, I redid the the entire OBS setup um, after um, upgrading to Windows 10. Yes, I was late. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's more about the technical aspects, not so much about forcing you into the follow. Um, but thank you very much anyway. It it should be um be below the team, right? Stadium name. Soxvan Oslo, in Norge. I probably butchered that. Um, well, okay, Soxvan is a lake. I don't know. A stadium in Oslo, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, did you find out? In case you do, let me know. <laughs> this is, uh... So, <laughs> in the next mail, uh, towards the other Hulk dolls, I can tell them. Um, maybe, maybe that will force a reaction. Probably not, though. Um, also, um, for, for the, no, just take your time, it's not that important. Um, and, uh, <laughs> glad to have you. But, uh, around the stream, that is. Um, anyway, there's also the story with the, with the kit. Um, kit, t with a T. Um, I promised to, um, try to buy a, um, a footballer's kit. Um, uh, one of the Yiddahawk Dolls kits. I found out that, um, there's no web shop for it. They, they sell uh, t-shirts or something like this. Uh, yeah, shirts. So, um, I don't think I can buy one. I, I could buy one of the shirts from Sweden though. So, I'm not sure how this is with, um, you know, getting that delivered to Germany. That might be a bit of a problem. To the daily leader. What's a daily leader? Let's play Hargidal. Then we have oh, we, the director. Um, well. They they have an official email address. I send them a message there. the The only other option I see is uh, to call them, which I do not want to do. You know, random streamer comes around and wants a, a kit. Um, this is this is different levels of weird. I think. There's always the possibility, I guess, that they do not approve of the stream. Um, let's put it that way. Um, so even though I think I think we try to um, to show the club in a healthy light overall, um, on the other hand, um, there's a lot of jokes about potatoes and farmers communities in in the stream. Um, just because we don't know much about the, about the club, we we've, we've been trying to find out. Um, so I don't know. I guess I'm. Um, I guess I'm a bit reluctant to um to annoy them, if that makes any sense. But hopefully we we get a positive reaction at some point. Great, we should win this game. Yeah, I I would be willing to pay for it, right? This is some. I. Oh, 
Okay. Well, I'm I'm definitely not. I'm I'm the worst football fan on on the world probably. Um. Also, the kits are orange. Can can I have an away kit, please? These are black. <laughs> I prefer one of those. Um, yeah, but I, I will need to see um, how, how streaming uh, goes going forward. Um, and that's uh, certainly an aspect to, um, to this entire situation. Because, um, you know, job takes me all over Germany at this point. Um, well, not all over it, but... Uh, I might not be around that much. Even though I enjoy streaming very much and I like, I like the safe a lot. Also the community, by the way. So, um... In case one of the other guys uh, turns up at some point, you might uh, you might get introduced. Uh, maybe maybe everybody has got forgotten that I exist. Okay, this is a preseason match. We need to win this. I don't care if you're stressed. Get it the hell done. We will need to endure additional pressure going forward. There we go. This is a bit loud, just for my taste. Probably due to the fact that I never set up um, Sound in Football Manager. So um, if the game sound is too loud, let me know. If game sound is not loud enough, let me know too. Decent so far. Game is a bit loud. Okay. Yeah, I will. I will need to do this in game though. Unrealistic? No, this is not unrealistic. This is what a what a stadium of fifteen people sounds like. I'm sure about it. Um, let me go into the preferences for a second. Hopefully, I can do this here. Uh, I will get one of one of the running. Uh, oh great! Where's audio? Match. Render scale. Great. Reloading the skin. Now, um, I I think. Um, the, the worst about it is uh, once it once it snows in winter, like during winter we do it friendlies and within the stadium it's everything's wide, and if you look just beyond the stadium, outside everything is in wonderful green at minus twenty degrees in Sweden. It's fantastic. The attention to detail that as I put into this is wonderful. Let me guess, it's not loud enough now. Can we have some sound, please? Is this any better? That's better. Okay, so this is uh, this is basically the setup that I, um, I had previously. Um, there's also um, stuff that I need to do in OBS for, um, you know... Um, how's it called? Filters, I think, audio-wise. So, um, in case I do, boop, uh, it doesn't uh, go all uh, over over the maximum. But I can do that software software side. But yeah, you know, um, we're doing it all over again and uh, trying to find a perfect setup. So it might take some time. And now you can get introduced to the squad. So, August Tillander is a former striker. That's the right winger. We've got Dirk here. Dirk is a Swedish young guy. Um, got introduced to the squad last season. We managed to get promoted. Malte Ekman is our register. There we go. One shot by August Tillander. Um, yeah, Malte Ekman is a register. He's really bad, physicals wise. But, oh no. Come on, Dylan Morgan is our left, uh, left winger, inverted winger out there, and 
he's an important player for us, I think. Even though he didn't uh, score much or something. But he's got a decent long shot, decent creativity if I'm not mistaken. Till under. And this is the way we play most of the time. Not this though. You found it? So what is it? New information about, well, <laughs> about another club I guess. It's not any team, let, let, me, let me guess. It's a big team in Oslo or something like this. I wouldn't be aware anyway. <laughs> oh, there's a oh there's a there's a Rogota that we play against. Is this I need to look this up. It's Marin Negrotta. Are you Are you serious? Yeah, this is the brother of Branimir Rogota. We were actually trying to sign this guy he was too expensive okay yeah i don't know the club so <laughs> this, is, this is great but i'm from germany so <laughs> no surprises there really surprised though to see rogota in in this game it's basically a school okay yeah interesting so this is more of a footballing academy Anyway, uh, thanks for looking me up. Thank you very much. That could be offside. And it is. Yeah, okay. That's, I think it's nice that these, uh, these things exist. Anderson not losing the ball this time. And it's a nice creative pass by Forcell. Wolfson low. August Tillander. Can he put it in? It's only a friendly, but this is what I want to see. Oh! So you you go into one of the uh, of the sports colleges. No, that's great. Just in the north of Norway. So you're, I don't know, you're the, like one of the people that are professional snowball fighters later on. Oh, what's it called? Yeah, snowball fight it is, right? Climate climate won't be kind to, for for any kind of sports in the north of Norway, will it? Okay. I guess I guess I, I hit a nail. No, seriously though, what is it you do in case you're willing to share? And uh, please be aware that this will be uncut on YouTube, so uh, don't share anything that you do not want to share. Oh, okay. So you're in you're in sports man into sports management more. Um, is this um, reflected by education? in that kind of situation? Serious question. Because I'm, I'm doing, um, I guess, management and leadership related stuff um, right now. Even though I'm a computer scientist by trade. Hargadal, Dirk... Oh, well, this is wonderful. I didn't realize that this exists. That's really great. Nice. So you can get some experience, and um, then later on you can go into into management. That's nice. I would never have had the guts to do something like this. Seriously. Okay. 
So this is, this is not part of the school, is it? Or or is it? So. Okay. Hold some. Ah, oh, we're talking topics. Yeah. Um. That's. Morgan's not a good header. Well intercepted by Mr. Nathan Lowe. For some reason I know the first names of uh, virtual players, but I just can't remember the names of my colleagues in real life. Malta Ekman. And August Tillander is not a great header. I think we can demand more here. Malta Ekman with a wonderful opening ball. Anderson. What's this? Tillander. Low. Shot from distance. And it got blocked. Not a bad one. So um, I think we can skip through most of this uh, in this game. We're well in control here. It doesn't tell us much. Um, I do not mind you asking. Um, it's not about... So l let me put it this way. Um, I talk a lot about work and computer science and uh, management in, in general. Um, as well as, um, I guess it's leadership uh, capabilities. Um, in, in general. That said, um, I do not think I'm comfortable um, sharing details about my current employment, um, employment going forward um, because I'm not sure how much I can share, if that's okay with you. It's not about unwillingness though. Um, usually I'm, I'm very transparent about that kind of stuff, so it's new to me. But um, let, let's put it that way. Um, I work for um, a rather big organization right now um, in um, what's it called it's not in the private sector let's put it that way so um, I'm a bit sensitive about this stuff um, it is I'm a, I'm, I, I can uh, say so much I'm a trainee right now in management so what the hell? That's a goalkeeper's error, is it? Seriously. How can you concede a goal like this? That cross by Rugota. No, it's by Widen. And then Froslund. Just no opposition and the goalkeeper is half asleep. Yeah, but um, the the last uh, few weeks um, uh, I was um, all over Germany is a bit much, but um, I was in different locations uh, in basically in school, um, if you want to put it that way. But it's not like um, the the usual school uh, stuff. Um, there's a lot of talking involved and a lot of discussions and debates, and um, yeah, it's all about leadership most of the time and uh, leading a team. So, not footballing wise though, That's, uh, but for me it's uh, with computer science. And uh, I, by, by education I'm a computer scientist, I got a master's degree in, uh, in computer sciences. And a few years of experience, and as a programmer basically. Or uh, yeah, some experience leading a, a software development team if you want to put it that way. I wouldn't say I led that last team though, um, specifically. Um, it's more like um, I did a lot of um, strategic stuff, um, but my former um, boss probably wouldn't be happy to know that uh, I think I led that team. It's, it's something in between. Um, well, this is not good enough, is it? Yeah, it's, it's a bit unspecific, but... Um, I'm very happy to talk, um, you know, topics, um, if that makes any sense. Um, also about, uh, about management overall, or team composition, or whatever. 
a lot of it is reflected in Football Manager. Um, that's also why I like this game. So, um, it's not like I'm opposed to football in any way, um, but I think my love of football, if I want to put it that way, um, it, it turned up later on. I played Football Manager and um, I got the hang of, of, of football um, later on due to playing Football Manager. So, yeah, it's a bit weird. I, usually I don't have strong opinions on, uh, you know, clubs and uh, kit colors, other than not being black is too much color for me. Um, I'm not a big fan of any club. So, probably not a big fan of uh, those that get financed by oil money, but otherwise, yeah. Dylan Morgan plays like shit. So, he needs to go. Let's give the Norwegian guy a chance. I don't think Puget will pull off much, but, well, he might. Waldsund, not a good game. Who's our second striker? I guess Ishak will play. Yeah. He will play pressing forward here, because he's really rubbish as a striker. This is the best striker you will ever see in any team, with a finishing of four. Still contributed, though. I can't believe it. Also, he scored a hat-trick last season, within the first 17 minutes of a game, this is, which was entirely absurd. Anyone else? Hargendal need to go off. I think Berkren is a central defender. And then... Smilovic, I guess. Who's the other central defender? Nilsson? Apparently. Oh no. Yeah, okay. Let's just hope for the best. So, um, given that you own, own a YouTube channel too, um, how long have you been streaming and uh, putting stuff on YouTube? I didn't look it up just yet. And how are you doing? Wanna tell us a bit about your save? Good, nice cross for Ishak and it hits the crossbar. That could have gone better. Malte Ekman. When you were eight? Are we are we talking your actual age? Nice header. By August to under. Nice one. Like seriously you started to stream and uh, to put stuff on YouTube when you were eight years old? That can't be what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, this is nice. That's great. I like these these kinds of saves where you um, pick them up uh, somewhere um, down below. And, uh... Okay, okay. Yeah, I I just um, I didn't realize that um, you can do this. Um, you know, terms and uh, conditions for Twitch and for YouTube. So um, th this must have gotten your parents involved or something. I'm I'm not sure how it is with um, you know people that are um, not. You can't really okay. Yeah, okay. Well... Oh. Well, in, in that case, let's not go into this into, in, in detail. I don't wanna... I don't want you to, to be put up with uh, some sort of, uh, you know, annoying stuff. Mr. Hergberg for Dirk. Here we go. So you can probably tell I'm a bit older. Um, not that it matters much. Helberg. But I know the feeling about uh, not having enough time. That's for sure. 
<laughs> I'd, I'd rather have more time for streaming. That said, a new job is really great, so yeah. Uh, maybe Oliver Swan can play out here. There's nobody as a replacement on the bench because we don't have anyone. And the rest of them, well, set a birth for Ericsson for whatever. Get out there and make a difference. Consequences are important though. Um, so I, I don't want to be the typical adult. But um, I guess uh, one, one part of the mindset um, to just do stuff um, is a lot of people um, tend to overthink things, me myself too, and um, that gets you in um, analysis paralysis, um, I think is what it's called. And most of the time this is not a good idea. For example, uh, if you want to go for Twitch affiliate, um, just stream. I, I'm not there yet, and sure you can overthink it, but you might as well stream along the way and um, get some experience um, under your belt. And that works just fine as a as a composite approach, I guess. Korovich. I guess we should play him. Yeah, but it's both. It's not one or the other. It's both. And if you. It's, it's similar to intelligence and work. You can't... Sure, you can you can do with um, a, a good intellect, but in the end you gotta put in the work. At some point. So you might as well do it from the start. And... A, a lot of effort is needed for whatever you are, you're trying to accomplish, right? And it's, it's the same with, um, with streaming, really. Um, Overthinking stuff is not a good idea, but not thinking about it at all is neither. Uh, neither is. So, you just need both. That's not to say that you need all of it at once. So for, let's say streaming and... Uh, no, not streaming, let's say YouTube and thumbnails. Yes, thumbnails are important. But there's big YouTube channels that go without decent thumbnails. Like, seriously big ones. People make it, making a living. So if you do not want to end up there um, with the thumbnails that are subpar, sure, you can do better. Especially better than our defense, by the way. Don't care about the offside, we shouldn't concede like this. That said, this is youth players on the pitch, so who cares. And uh, there's other stuff, like um, say analytics, YouTube analytics. I wouldn't overstate the importance of YouTube analytics or Twitch analytics, but if you find out something like my viewership is, uh, I don't know, located this, there. Um. <laughs> Mine are too. A hundred percent of all thumbnails that I ever did were um, not unappreciated by the clubs. Because nobody ever answered. Also, I think uh, the viewers appreciate it, at least to a degree. What's this? <laughs> this, is, this is the replay for, for the goal that we did concede. Well, we didn't. Um, I was expecting a window. Well, whatever. So, that was the last friendly. Yeah, but um, some some progress will be made, um, whatever you're trying to optimize. But it's usually um, the easiest to optimize the, the stuff you're bad at, right? And this usually involves a bit of thinking and a bit of research. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you're really a footballing-focused uh, person, if I can put it that way. That's great. Why not? I I hope it I seriously hope it turns out well for you overall. But you've got a long way to go and there's so many aspects to life um, that are really interesting. Yeah, sure. I don't, I don't want to deny that or um, um 
how do I put this? It's it's not for me to judge, right? Um, there's other people that have different opinions, and that's fine too. But it's great as long as it it makes you happy. Okay, so how's sharpness bad? Why? Uh, no, why? Why would I say that? Well, but in in case it motivates you, I might as well um I might as well challenge you, if this is the way you want it. Um, so not a problem. Not a problem at all. I think the fact that you can make a living uh, with football is rather rare. You need to be very good at it. And circumstances dictate that uh, you will not earn a lot of money most of the time. As long as you manage or uh, coach uh, a team that is uh, in the lower leagues. Uh, you probably know better than me. Given the fact that uh, Wage Grove is... Uh, rather in some somehow exponential um, once you go up in the leagues it's akin to um, investing in a growth stock um, you know um, there might be a, a chance that you have success and if you have success it's really big but otherwise it's just like a lottery ticket um, as a as a job choice you know, or as a choice for of career that said um, the same can be said about computer sciences if you want to put it that way and a lot of jobs are, are like this. Um, think about artists or something like this. Um, most of these people are really poor. Um, but there's a minor percentage that is really good, practices a lot, and uh, is really um, focused on their craft. And these people usually get through, um, at least to a degree. But also there's a degree of luck to it. So if you want to make it anywhere with anything in life, you got to put in the work. That's just the way it is. There's no guarantee for success, though. So, um, if you find out at the age of 25 that you will not make it as a footballing coach, for example, there's no shame in giving up and doing what's reasonable. I think that's that's the way I would want to put it. Yeah. So, th this is great. Like, I, I, I don't want to talk money too much. That's not That's not true. I like to talk money, but not the, the exact values. Um, it doesn't matter anyway. And for, for finance, um, also, there's other things that you can do. So, um, I do not want to be one of these channels that, uh, you know, tosses out bad investment advice. Like, seriously, I do not want to be. There's enough stuff uh, of the stuff on YouTube. But, um, given your age, you can do a lot. Um, with with whatever you can save right now for the entire rest of your life and this might make up for um, for wages that um, never go through the roof for example so um, a certain deg degree of frugalism or um, rather decent investing policy um, can go a long way especially at a younger age so if you spend it all on booze, for example, um, that's probably not a good choice. So it's a trade-off. Do you want to spend it all on booze and hookers? Or do you want to, you know, um, do football coaching for the rest of your life because um, this is what you enjoy doing? And in that case, it's, it's a trade-off and a choice that you can, you can make for yourself. It's the same for other people, by the way. This is not, it's not specifically focused on football coaching. Obviously. Pair friends on. They want to buy per pair friends on. Oh. Yeah. That's fine. Um, so, uh, as I said, um, I'm, I'm not a financial advisor and I cannot give investment advice, but um, I'm really happy to talk the topic in general, if, if that's um, helpful to anyone. Like seriously, this is one of my my hobbies, and let me put it that way: um, 
There's good financial advice to be found at Rational Reminder Podcast, in case you're interested at some point. This is academic stuff, though. Um, if you want to break it down a, a bit easier, um, Benjamin Felix has, a, has an investment channel that is called Common Sense Investing. And this is good academic research backed by, you know, numbers. And you don't need a, a bank advisor or anything like this. Um, so... I, I think this is the way to put it. These are professionals. And forget about everything else on YouTube. The, the entire, you know, stock trading stuff and all that, uh, that kind of uh, stuff. Get rid of it. And forget about cryptocurrencies and AI. Or whatever's, uh, whatever's the hype right now. Yeah, anyway, uh, I will not sell Pierre friends on, and especially not for this amount of money. And also, he doesn't want to go, so... But if if I would uh, have the chance to go back to uh, the age of 17, I would do a lot of things differently. Probably not work anymore at this point. In fact, the, the thing is, um, at the age of 17, you don't have the knowledge. And it's, it's hard to get to it. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's okay. Um, we, we do not need to go there. Seriously. Uh, by the way, um, it's great to have you here. And... Uh, for me, it's a good conversation. So thank you very much. That um, I guess that helped out the stream to a degree, just because somebody's here uh, chatting. That's one aspect to it. But the other aspect is I really enjoy uh, doing it. And um, it helped out me as a person. So thank you very much for that. Who the hell is this? Oh, this is the manager. Go away. I definitely will not sell Pierre Franson. Why the hell would I sell one of the young prospects of the club? Yeah, and and, and talking, going back to that topic in general, if I can, um, maybe we can agree on. Yeah, sure, sure. I, I guess this is the way most people uh, consume this kind of content. But um, I, I think we can agree on one thing. Um, financial stuff, like econ financial advice, most of the time is really bad. And it's hard to get good financial advice. So um, a lot of financial advice adheres to um, human biases and um, the fact that he's ill. He's a, yeah, no, go home, goodbye, get out of the squad. Oh, come on. What's with Oliver Swan? Two to three days, okay. Um, yeah, the, uh, a lot of it is uh, for um, big money fast. And this is not the way it works. A lot of the stuff takes time and it's really boring. And this is the way it usually works. It's about minimizing costs and maximizing whatever you can get out of it, but not with one big win. It's not about that one big trade or that one uh, big uh, great investment. This is gambling. This is not investing. Investing is damn boring. So, yeah. Or it should be. To me it isn't. But for most people it should be. <laughs> Seriously. Don't, don't do that kind of stuff on stream. Um, and don't tell us about uh, the, the thing existing either. So, um, yeah. Let's not go there. Thing is, um, you will uh, find your way through life. And that's good. I seriously hope it works out well for you. What's this? Oh, there's travel in here. Fantastic. Well, they can sleep in the bus, right? So they can do an extra session of teamwork or something here. Let's, let's eat. Probably travel, recovery, and afterwards they go to Ikea or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So we could still use a right winger. Let's go to the scouting and... S oh, no.
Well, in that case, it's legal. But as, as I said, you, we don't have to discuss this here. Um, seriously. He's not bad. In fact, he's... Yeah. He's decent. I should probably have a look at my phone too. Uh, da, 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 da. So, the missus is still at work. All right, let's keep this going. There's a winger here. So, you can't know this about me, but I don't like wingers. For the formation we play with, I prefer inverted wingers. That said, this is rather pacey, is it? He's rubbish otherwise, though. Well, maybe maybe I can learn something from time to time. Oh, oh. So then you can probably teach me. I I, I guess this this is part of it anyway. This is this is a hobby for me. So I'm I'm not a good footballing technician or something or or tactician. Um, so yeah, it's hardly likely that you know stuff that I don't. Um. Let me try to switch on the light. I don't know if it makes any difference. It doesn't, does it? It doesn't. Not much. Yeah. Um. With this guy, oh, he was with Vazalons. I remember him. Vaseline's the bane of our existence. Let's have a look. So he's got balanced personality, he's got determination 11 and he's level-headed. Level-headed implies some sense of loyalty if I'm not mistaken. The rest of it is absolutely rubbish. Well, <laughs> no, seriously, that, um, that's, there's, I, I can show you, I think. Can I? Look at it. I guess this counts as frugalism, does it? There's a single light bulb up there. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, th this guy, attribute-wise, this is fine. It really is. Oh, come on. Um, it really is. But, also the trait is fine for me. This is okay. Um, I, I can deal with this. He's got decent hate, um, physicals are okay, technicals are okay. This, this is, all of it is A-OK. -okay. So, what's the problem? Well, the problem is we have two and a half options there. That are younger. Also worse. And probably a wage. Let's have a look. He wants to be a regular starter. Yeah, I, I can agree to this. Or something like it. And then there's a slight difference in what we expect to pay and what he expects to be paid. So... I guess we walk away. And he can go and find someone else. I think the light bulb makes, makes a sound. In case I'm, I'm short with uh, pieces of glass later on, uh, you know where it comes from. Victor Strun, no. Okay, so not interested in him. 
not as interested in the pacey guy. Manastal. This this is not the way we play. Tell us about it. Like seriously, tell us about it. What's unbelievable about it? I acknowledge this one. Maybe he changes his mind later on. We know about this guy, he's 24 and the traits don't fit. Hendrickson. We... This is an 18 year old, this is good. <laughs> Did you play with zero defenders? It certainly sounds like it. Uh, yeah, so we have a striker. Let's let's offer him a trial. Apparently they did a really great job. What the hell is this? This is a Brazilian. This is fantastic. Thank you very much. And at this point, where is it? No, this is not the button I'm looking for. This is the button I was looking for. So hopefully I get that done right. Yeah. Sorry about that. These kind of guys, um, or I don't know, bots, whatever it is, they come in from time to time. Yeah, well, uh, Brazilian striker. I don't know where this comes from. Why the hell do we have scouting knowledge in Brazil? Seriously? We don't. Why would I download porn? That doesn't make much sense. It's not like it's not like porn is something you collect, right? Or if you do, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, seriously, it's a waste of traffic. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't download that kind of stuff. Why should I? Also, I've got a girlfriend that I'm really happy with, by the way. So, that's part of the story. Yeah, back, back in the day. That's true. Back in the day when streaming didn't exist. But these days, um, apparently streaming exists for everything, so we want, we want him. This is good. It's not great. He's Belarusian. And he's in the reserves of of a Belarusian team. This is this is viable scouting knowledge. Like seriously, this is okay. So we might have a bit of a political debate here, or we just ignore the fact that he's Belarusian. But um, in football manager, certain things don't exist, and I'm happy about it. So we can treat him like er anyone else. Yeah. Think we can buy him? His jumping reach and strength aren't great, but as a central defender, composure and decision making we can train. This this is one this is final third training. 
We can do that. The rest of it is okay. And he's 19. This is a signing for the future. He's fairly pro. Fairly pro and level-headed. That should be professionalism and loyalty, if I'm not mistaken. Let's look it up, though. Give me a second. Fairly pro... Level-headed. What's the determination? Determination is 12. That will not change much. Yeah, so this guy's got good loyalty and good professionalism. And the rest of it is um, in the decent ranges. This is, for, for me, this is a signing. In fact, this is a signing right now. If we can get him for some money. Oh no, he's got an agent. Okay, I need to get through this. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, he's not interested right now, but he might be later on. This is a case for the shortlist for me. Yeah. Whatever, let's keep him on indefinitely. I think this guy's got potential. Um, what about the medical stuff, by the way? Do we know about... Hmm. Well, um... Not his... This was this guy, right? Let's acknowledge this. What about the rest? We don't know anything about him, so let's offer him a trial. Great. He's 32. Get out of my list. Navarro. A Frenchman, a striker. Left footed and he can play on the right wing. Yeah, this is interesting. Also, this is in France. Why not? He's an amateur and he's got an agent. What the hell? Um, so his acceleration looks decent. Pace, not so much, but we need a replacement on the right wing. Uh, Navarro might be an idea. How is this pronounced? Sebastian Navarro? Probably. Okay, uh, he's, he's one for the shortlist, probably. I don't know yet. And Fabiano Ferreira, um, I don't think we're interested. Not at this point. We have a rather decent striker coming in. Go forward. We need to choose a captain. Oh no. What about Sederberg? How's his? Sederberg is on 11.9. The thing is, Sederberg doesn't have a great personality. Just the way it is. Hellstrom does though. And he will play most of the matches this season, so this is great. 
Anderson will not, but I will not remove him from captaincy. He's the best personality in the squad. Alright, I understand. Okay, in that case... Goodbye. Definitely, yes. They rejected the bid. He played a lot for these guys. He has a friendly relationship with us. So I'm trying to sign this guy. Um, sorry, I got lost in thought. Um, we're trying to sign this guy and I want him for a lower wage. Um, I think he's a good viable replacement for August Tillander. Um, but we're moving on instinct here. He's got low self He's got low self-belief. Oh, this is another... This is someone else, isn't it? Yeah, we don't know about the media handling and stuff. Um, do we really want to do this? Maybe. So this this might result in a lot of uh, mentoring. Still, we need somebody for dead wing. This is no good. Something like this. And the agent can have his fee too, sure. Yeah. He wants more money. No. So I don't think this is worth it. This is a gamble. And I don't like this. It's, it's not like... I, I like the player overall. 1.7k. Forget about it. This is too expensive. He needs to come in for trial. If he doesn't want to, well, he doesn't want to. He's not for sale. What? What? No. <laughs> this is ridiculously bad. I'm not willing to sell him. He doesn't want to go. He's a he's our current club captain. Get lost. <sighs> There's a trial for this guy. Sure. These two, I think they have transfer arranged for us, that is.
So usually I don't play with pacey strikers. Or I like pacey striker. Uh, he's suspicious to injury. He probably won't be the one. Yeah, uh, usually um, I, I play with pacey wingers or inverted wingers or wingbacks or, and stuff. Um, also midfielders um, that have some pace. I like that. Strikers, sure. But um, it's more about strength to me. And our setup at least. So, there's an entire day to go and then the transfer window closes. I do not care about any of these. I do care about the fact that uh, we have a problem with a certain position there. This is not one of our uh, one for us. Let's see. Yeah, we had a look into into um, players that can play out there. Nice face. I will not employ a 29 year old if I can help it. Jesper Wichström Johansson. Yeah, it looks decent. We need somebody like this though. Somebody like this that is not unambitious. Or in this case, we know the entire personality: unambitious, level-headed, and determination four. He's definitely a new gen. This implies decent professionalism um, and good loyalty and really bad ambition, obviously. He's cheap. We don't know about the potential. Well, whatever. Obviously not as good as Speedy Boy. Where does it come from? Pff, I don't know about that position. Apparently this is one of the bigger clubs. Okay, cool. This is not a great division though in Northern Ireland. Yeah. Oh, uh... By the way, um, Ginger, if you're still around, um, the the auto mod blocked one of your messages. Um, even though I understand the message, um, yeah, there's uh, no no reason to um, in insult the bots. It doesn't matter anyway. Um, I just noticed it. Li uh, noticed it like uh, twenty minutes later. Um, yeah, just uh, in in case you're wondering why um, it, it's all fine. In case you're wondering why um, a certain message of yours uh, didn't go through, um, the the mod uh, automatic moderation um, got rid of it because it was an insult to you know that guy trying to sell um, whatever it was promotion of the channel. So I just noticed that um, like half an hour later. So, what do you think? Is this a decent signing? 
He's he's got decent loyalty and professionalism, most likely. Pace wise, he's he's okay-ish. This is not great, but uh, if he makes the odd appearance, maybe. Technicals are the first touch could improve, but you would say no. The thing is, we need a replacement. Um, we we need a replacement for August Tillander. So August Tillander is the better player. I think that's uh, that's uh, quite clear by now. Um, there's also Speedy Boy by the name. His uh, by by the way, his real name is uh, Jonathan Bengtsson. But um, we renamed him because, well, he's a speedy boy. And uh, Jonathan Bengtsson and uh, some other guy named Burntson in the squad was too much. So, I I see myself needing him as a replacement, um, as a bench option. Or in case August Tillander gets injured. And that's always a problem. You know, we've got transfer windows, we can't sign anyone outside of the transfer window. So... Long term, it's also about the money. So, if this is a net zero, or slight positive, um, from a financial point of view, it might be a worthwhile signing because he's cheap, he m might have some potential, he might play sometimes um, for us, we might loan him out later on, sell him on, and uh, it might be a net zero or really not that much money spent. It's more about uh, the spot in the in the squad, but there's nobody else that uh, contests for this squad uh, for this spot. He's natural in that position. He's got a strong foot on the side we want him to have, and at the age of 17, um, some physical development should come naturally. Especially in football manager, but uh, it's the same in real life. At the age of 17, he's not outgrown his, you know. He's not on, on, on maximum, physicals-wise. Um, the lack of ambition is a bit concerning, but professionalism and loyalty are good att attributes to have. It fits our squad. So if we get him a decent mentor, he should have a decent personality. It's all about the ambition for him. And we need somebody and he's cheap. So, you know what? Um, you might be right. He will not be good enough. But, he's better than nothing. And I do not want to play a midfielder there. So let's give him a nice uh, adhesion contract. That he will not get out of anytime soon. Wait... I will. Yeah. Yeah. This is at the age of 18. You're good, man. You're good. Yeah. You're good. This, this is not in two years. This is at the at a, um, winter, winter transfer window. Let me go back. Yeah, it's not winter transfer window. It's summer transfer window. You're good. This is... In October, and this is when... This is later. I think this is once he turns... Uh, once he turns... Uh, come on. This is once he turns 18, is it? Yeah. Yeah. This is once he turns 18. So, he cannot have a professional contract, apparently, until he's... Uh, No, I'm not. S but but still, this is not a, a viable option. Um, well, that said, long term, it might still be okay-ish. So, let's slap in a nice, decent relegation wage drop and an injury release clause. He doesn't have an agent, so we don't have to pay any one of these. For six years, this is a lot of money. Well, it's three years. What's the risk profile here? We pay him 120 a week, this is uh, 120 times 12 times 3, this is approximately 4.3k. Um, this is no big money for us at this point. So, he trains full-time um, for 3 years and we can extend the contract at will 
throughout three years we can release him if he breaks a leg or I don't know um, his face and we c we can extend his contract uh, after five league games in the final season so this is a contract for up to seven years and about 10k this is not big money for us especially not for a youth player and I realized that I said entirely different things previously yeah he doesn't want to do that why not? It's not about the money, it's about the injury release clause. You'll see. Injury release clauses are really, really unliked by players. This stuff, this stuff will do. So, he will not come into the club um, before the next transfer window. But now we will just need to play um, August till under and... Uh, Whoever's available for that part of the season, and uh, well, hopefully we can get the odd point or two. Um, I do not want to make any big deals. I do not want to sell um, one of our good players, um, and we will probably get devastated anyway in this league. So it doesn't matter much what level we sign. Um, I will not throw out all the money the club has. Well, there's no money to be had here. But I will not throw out all the money that uh, the league will earn us um, for the finishing position. You know, the, what's it called? Uh, prize money. I will not throw out all the prize money that we will earn throughout this season. Okay. Get rid of this guy, get rid of this guy, get rid of this guy. These are all on the short list, but not on a serious short list. Great. I will need to clear the shortlist at some point. Because there will not be additional trials right now. This though, this went fast. So he will join later on. This is good. Setterberg. I remember Setterberg. He was a pain in the backside. To play against that is. I do not remember this guy, and neither do I remember him. And Joe Bolton will be on trial until he joins permanently, this is fine. So, given that he will be on trial, I think we can put him into a mentoring group. Hopefully he doesn't come with traits, but I don't think he does. Twenty-one fifteen, last ditch signing. No, nope. we definitely do not need a central defender, especially not one of Trollhatten. Well, not right now, anyway. Um, don't think I'm interested. Thank you. Uh, I don't care. This is fine. All right, all right, all right. Let's get rid of all of these. Let's have a look into detail. This is an away game, so we will play the defensive formation, I think. And hope for the best. And we will do this uh, by, by training going forward. Friends on us still wanted for transfer by two clubs. I'm not interested in selling. He can go to the U19. Stop disrupting the morale up here. Bernigo joins in July. Bolton joins in October. I don't think we will loan him out. Don't want to. Bolton for a mentoring group if we can help it. So uh, let's go back to it for a second. Where's Mr. Bolton? 
blind. There he is. Unambitious, no traits. Alright. So he needs a mentoring group that improves his ambition. A tiny bit, that is. The long flat throw is not a threat to me. But... We've got inverted wingers here that are not a bad influence at all. So now we have average influence on him. That's probably due to the fact that he's uh, entirely different than the rest of them. And well, not entirely, but... Um, he might pick up some of the... some of the personality here. And later on we will combine him with a professional uh, attitude somewhere. Because right now, winds up opponents is a really nice trait for everyone. And I think uh, the Northern Irish guy could do with that attitude. So that's okay for me. Wilson doesn't perfect morale, why is that? Well, okay. Training. We will need to go through training. One of you. I'll do that prior to the match though. Anything else to do for the transfer window? Well, probably sell most of the players, but nobody wants them, so... Yeah, disregard that. Forget about it. They are also on the unwanted list. Nobody wanted them. Uh, assistant manager has been trying to get rid of most of them. Transfer windows closed. I think this is a good idea to, um, a, a good um, opportunity to wrap up the stream for now. Um, I would like to play the game, but on the other hand, um, I think it's uh, sensible to, to think about uh, some of the stuff um, that's uh, related to the game in detail. And um, I should have some food at some point. My uh, significant other will come on uh, also. And uh, given the partner should have priority, I think uh, this is a good time to wrap up the stream. Um, I hope I can do another one, um, either this weekend or uh, next week going forward. Um, there's no schedule yet. Um, I hope you get notifications. Um, Ginger, in particular you, um, thank you very much for joining me and uh, keeping me company. I would be glad to see you around uh, later on or, um, you know, um, in the next days. Um, hopefully I get to it. If I don't, I will get to it at some point. And um, I, in, in case um, I don't get to it anytime soon, um, good luck with, uh, well, everything in your life, really. Um, yeah, I had a good time too. Thank you very much for being around. And uh, have a nice weekend, at least. And good luck with uh, that footballing career, seriously. Yeah, see you later on. And uh, bye.